Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have cut out some pieces today to try to make um, a non-slip mat for my sewing machine paddle. I have cut out um, two pieces of fabric that measure five and a quarter by seven and three eighths. I cut out the um, shelf liner a quarter inch smaller. I also have a piece of batting that I'm going to put between the um, these two pieces to give it a little cushion. And then I'm going to try to put a pillow on with a piece of fabric. Um, and this one is five inches wide by eight and a half inches long. And then I have, I'm hoping that I have enough of this. I already had this piece cut out. It's a um, piece of material for binding and it's three inches and this is about 36 inches around. I kind of pre-measured it so it looked like it would go all the way around. So. I'm hoping that it will. If it doesn't, I have some more material that I can um, cut a little piece to put on if I need to. So anyway, I'm going to start sewing on this project and I will give you a little update later. Okay, I'm over at my sewing machine. I'm going to um, Put my pieces together with the batting and I'm going to do a, a small bit of quilting on these. I'm not going to quilt it heavily. I just, I just want it to kind of hold together a little bit. And this is, there's no guarantee that this is going to turn out the way I think it will. I'm hoping it will turn out the way that I want it to. But here we go. I'm going to start just doing a little bit of serpentine stitch to hold this together. Try to move it over a little bit closer. So I put that on um, seven millimeter wide by two millimeter long. That should be good enough. And I'm not going to measure anything. I'm just going to make a few rows. It's just to hold it together. You're not even going to be able to see it. I'll be back when I get this finished. Okay, I have my piece quilted, what I was planning on doing. I just ran the serpentine stitches the long way. I did three rows, then I turned it, and then I did three rows this way. So now I'm going to attach my non-skid surface. surface. So what I'm doing now is I am zigzagging around the edge to try to 
hold the um, gripper material onto my little um, piece of fabric that I quilted together. It's kind of a slow process. I put a piece of um, just uh, paper underneath to help it go through the feed dogs. I'm using a zigzag stitch. Okay, so now I will have to tear this paper off. I hope it works okay. I'll be back in just a few minutes to let you know. Okay, so I did my zigzag around the edges. This is going to be covered up with my binding. On the back side, there is some of the paper left between the stitches. I'm not going to worry about it because um, it's going to be enclosed with the binding. Um, so um, I'm just going to, I'm not going to try to nitpick every little piece of the, the paper out of there. Because um, I don't think it's going to hurt anything. I'll be back for the next step. Okay, I'm attaching my binding. I folded it in half and I've got both layers together and I'm stitching it on the bottom side where the paper was and then I'll fold it over to the other side. Um, I'll stitch for just a minute and then I'll stop and I'll come back when I get it all done. back like this and make my mitered corner. Okay, I've got my corner started here. I decided not to put paper on it. It seems to be working okay. Take a couple of stitches forward and then go back. Okay, when I finish putting this on, I will be back. Okay, I have my binding stitched down. This is not perfect. This is the first one I've made. I have some errors on the back side, but I'm not going to worry about them right now. Um, it just shows that I need to work on my process a little bit. Um, I came came up short a little bit on, on some of this. So it's good to know that 
people do make errors but that's how you learn how to do something but this side is going to be where my um, foot pedal goes so I'm not going to worry about this side too much because this is just the first one I still have to make my pillow so that's my next step So my piece for my pillow, I've got it stitched. I'm going to clip the corners. Then I need to turn it. to get my chopstick. So I'm going to press it and I'll, um, I'm going to turn this end under about a quarter of an inch. When I get after I get it stuffed, but I'm going to measure it and see how much is going to overlap. It's probably not going to be too much, maybe half an inch. And I will have to hand stitch my pillow down when I'm through, um, but I'll be back for that process after I get it stuffed. Okay, I made my pillow. I think I overstuffed it a little bit, but I'm going to make it work. Um, it will still fit. It didn't have to be um, as thick as it is. But like I said, this is first time I'm making it, trial by error, and so... I'm going to hand stitch this on as I'm watching some something on the TV. So I will show you the finished product when I get it all stitched up. I'm back with a little um, addition to uh, making the sewing machine foot pedal non-slip pad. I um, the other one works for my foot pedal and I will for my serger and for my older machine. Um, my brother pedal is just a little bit wider and a little bit longer, I believe. So I've cut out another one and I'm using um, six and a half inch by eight and a half inch of my main fabric, my batting, and also my non-slip material. I have the main fabric and the batting already quilted together and I have this pinned on. I'm going to cut um, a five inch, well actually it's going to be, um, I believe this is about two and a half by ten and a half. I cut out two pieces instead of one piece. And that's going to be for my pillow. And I'm hoping it will work. Um, also, I've cut out three and a half inch strip for my binding. 
it's extra long so I will just be able to cut it off when I get around the edge um, to do that and I will show you real quick the other pillow that I stitched on to the foot pedal. Sorry about that. But here's my completed pillow. And what I did was I just hand stitched it on the back. And I've tried this out on my serger pedal and it it does not slip. So like I said, this one was my first one, an experiment. It could have been just a tad bit longer, but it works because my foot pedal uh, rests up in here. And so when I'm working, it will push against that. So I'm including a picture of it um, down in the floor with it, with my foot pedal on there. So when I get through with this, I'll do a small little addition and show you what this one looks like. And I'll give um, my measurements in the description box. I appreciate you watching. I'll be back. Oh, I wanted to insert here also that I'm going to use tissue paper. It's just the tissue paper that, that you buy for... Um, putting in your packages and stuff. So I'm going to do that and um, I'm going to just use a straight stitch around the edge and um, put my stitch length at 1.8. I'm back. I am hand stitching my little pillow to my last um, sewing machine foot pedal mat. I just wanted to give a little bit of update and let you watch a little bit of my stitching. I'm just doing a whip stitch. Secure my end a little bit. It's been a few days since I started um, this video. Um, been in some pain, so I kind of um, took a break. Still in pain, but um, it's a little more tolerable. Trying to um, sew, hand sew with uh, all of these prickly feelings from the chemo neuropathy is a little bit on the challenging side, but I'm getting it done. I have feeling in my hands. I just um, have this weird prickly tingling feeling that kind of interferes with what I want to do. My hand stitching isn't the greatest. 
I used to always, always hand stitch hems into any garment that I made. Um, of course, when I made the kids' garments, it didn't take that long, but um, if I made a dress or something for myself, that does take some time. And I used to love to do that. I always used a slip stitch so that the stitches were almost hidden. Um, but for something like this, you just kind of do a whip stitch. And that's, I take the needle and I go in on my trim here around the edge and then back up to to my pillow pull it and and do like that so you can kind of see where I'm at right there Okay, I'm going to finish my hand stitching on the pillow part of my sewing machine mat, my pedal, foot pedal mat. And then when I'm finished, I will either show a little picture of it or just give a little quick detail on here. Okay, my sewing mat is all finished. My hand stitching on the back. Hope you can kind of see it. I used a matching thread for the dark, so you won't be able to see the hand stitching too much. But anyway, it I tried it out a little bit ago, and it's going to work for me. So I'm happy with it. Um, the material that's under this is actually this material, but you can't see it because this is too dark. But anyway, I'll include a picture at the end. Uh, it shows the little one that I made that I'm going to use for my um, serger pedal. And then this will be for my, my brother machine pedal. So anyway, I want to thank you for watching again. And... Remember to like and subscribe. Um, leave me a comment. Um, I try to respond to the few comments that I do get. So um, if you have any questions, just let me know. Um, I watched other YouTube tutorials and came up with the ideas. So um, but I'm, I measured this out for my specifications. So anyway. I hope you like it. Thank you again. Bye for now.